The Power of Your Subconscious Mind Dr. Joseph Murphy The Treasure House Within You You have infinite riches within your reach. To gain them, all you have to do is open your mental eyes and behold the treasure house of infinity within you. A magnetized piece of iron will lift about 12 times its own weight. But if you demagnetize this same piece of iron, it will not lift even a feather. In the same way, there are two types of people. Those who are magnetized are full of confidence and faith. They know they are born to succeed and to win. So many others are demagnetized. They are full of fears and doubts. When an opportunity comes, they say, What if I fail? I might lose my money. People will laugh at me. People of this sort will not get very far in life. Their fear to go forward makes them simply stay where they are. You can become a magnetized person when you discover and put to use the master secret of the ages. Suppose someone asked you to name the master secret of the ages. What would you answer? Atomic energy? Interplanetary travel? Black holes? The answer is extraordinarily simple. This secret is the marvelous miracle working power found in your own subconscious mind. This is the last place most people would look for it, which is the reason so few ever find it. The marvelous power of your subconscious. Once you learn to contact and release the hidden power of your subconscious mind, you can bring into your life more power, more wealth, more health, more happiness, and more joy. You do not need to acquire this power. You already possess it, but you will have to learn how to use it. The conscious and the subconscious minds. A wonderful way to begin getting to know the two functions of your mind is to think of it as a garden. You are the gardener. You are planting seeds of thought in your subconscious mind all day long. Much of the time you are not even aware of doing so because the seeds are based on your habitual thinking. As you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. Imagine your subconscious mind as a bed of rich soil that will help all kinds of seeds to sprout and flourish, whether good or bad. If you sow thorns, will you gather grapes? If you sow thistles, will you harvest figs? Every thought is a cause, and every condition is an effect. This is the reason it is so essential that you take charge of your thoughts. In that way, you can bring forth only desirable conditions. Begin now to sow thoughts of peace, happiness, and right action, goodwill, and prosperity. Accept them fully in your conscious reasoning mind. Continue to plant these wonderful seeds of thought in the garden of your mind, and you will reap a glorious harvest.